Hi, my name is Kristen. This is Kristen Craze Books, and I'm so grateful to Eric for giving me an excuse to put up my Christmas tree earlier this year. So I know that is a lie. I would have this tree up either way. I probably just would have hid it from you and not filmed in front of it this early if I didn't have this exciting announcement. And that is that I am co-hosting the Reindeer Readathon this year, which is so much fun because I participated last year. I was on Eric's team, Team Mistletoe. And it really helped get me into the Christmas spirit. And I feel like that's just gonna be amplified this year since I am co-hosting. And my team is Team Stocking, which is so much fun. I can have some fun with that. And I just, oh, I love the Christmas time. I love the community around this time. I love that everybody gets together to do this readathon. I think Eric said there were over 500 participants last year. Last year, so let's see if we can do even better this year. And I'm gonna leave all the links that you need down below. But oh, I'm wearing a reindeer shirt. How cute is this? It says all the jingle ladies, but you can't see it. But the premise of this readathon is that there are different prompts. It is team based. Each prompt is worth a different point, and each prompt corresponds with a different reindeer, one of Santa's reindeer. So I think that is so much fun. There's already a lot of excitement on the Discord, so I'll leave a link to the Discord down below. If you are new to Discord like I was when I first got involved in the book community, it can be overwhelming and confusing. So I'm going to leave a link to my Twitter and my Instagram, and you can message me and I can help you as much as I can because I think a lot of the chatter will be on Discord, and that's really where you can feel like you're part of things. So let me know if you need help with that. But when you sign up for this, it's very simple. I'll leave the links down below. Actually, Eric's created a website with all the links you need, which is so helpful. So when you sign up, Eric will send you an email and you will be randomly assigned to a team. So there's no guarantee that you'll be on the best team, team stalking, but the other teams are fantastic. The hosts are amazing. I have followed all of their channels before this all came together. I seriously love them all. So I'm going to tell you what the other teams are that you could end up on and who the hosts are. So check out their channels. Of course, we have Team Mistletoe and that is Eric, the creator of this readathon at Break Even Books. Team Snowflake is Noelle from Noelle 7 Pages. Team Nutcracker is Christine and Mo from the Roomies Digest. Team Stocking, that's me. And then Team Candy Cane is Leslie from the Nerdy Narrative. So you can't go wrong. All fantastic hosts. Can't wait to get competitive with them and to get to know them better through some of the live streams and the trivia night that's going to be happening. So there will be live streams and reading sprints throughout the month of December to be determined on the date of the Christmas trivia night. But there is going to be a Christmas trivia night and I cannot wait for that. I love this time of year. I can get competitive. I feel like I know my Christmas trivia, but I could be wrong. So we will see how that goes and you participate in that as well. And that leads me to the prizes. Eric has two sponsors for this readathon, which is awesome. So one sponsor is going to provide three $20 gift cards to Book Depository for three members of the winning team. And then another sponsor is um, gonna sponsor gift cards to book depository for winners of the trivia game, Christmas trivia. So that's so much fun to add little prizes, just makes it more exciting. And I'm gonna go through the prompts now so that you know the TBR you need to build. I've been thinking about my TBR for like a week now since Eric told us what the prompts were. So each of the reindeer have is worth a different amount of points based on how hard the prompt is. So we'll start with Dasher, worth 15 points, and this is to finish a series or pick up a book that you started and put down. If neither of those work for you, you can read a short story or a novella, so that's nice. Dancer is worth 10 points, a book that has cursive, flowery, elegant font on the cover. So if I need the text on the cover, if you think it looks elegant, that works for that. So that's up to your interpretation there. Prancer is worth 20 points, a book with your favorite season on the cover, or the book cover has colors from your favorite season on it. So if winter is your favorite season, you might want to pick up a holiday romance or any cover that looks wintry. Let's say fall is your favorite season, but you don't have a cover that has fall vibes to it. If you have a cover that has red, oranges, yellows, that kind of thing, that counts. Then Vixen is a book that you want to read but think might be overhyped. And I think we all have those. I definitely have a stack on my shelf that can work for that. Comet, a book with an astronomical word in the title. And that is like sun, moon, star, sky, space. And this one's worth 25 points because it's a bit more specific. It might be more challenging, but I know exactly what book I'm going to use for that. And I will be posting my TBR closer to December. And then the next one is Cupid, worth 15 points. 
a book with a favorite trope in it, which is always nice. Donner, 20 points, a book that you want to read but are not a fan of the cover. And this one's the hardest one for me because I am so somebody who judges a book by its cover. So I don't own a lot of books with ugly covers. I'll have to go through my Goodreads or something. Blitzen is worth 20 points. Use a random number generator to find a number between zero and nine and then find a book that ends in that number. So that can be fun. Rudolph, of course, got ended with Rudolph, is worth 15 points, and that is to start a new series. Which is the last thing I should be doing, but you know I'm going to do it anyways because I want to rack up as many points as I can. And then we have Santa Clauses. So there's some rules and some ways to get bonus points here. So the bonus points, the first one is Christmas Star. And so that is worth 25 points, and that is to read a book over 500 pages. Christmas Lights worth 15 points, an ebook, and then Christmas Carols worth 20 points, an audiobook. And then Slaying It is like a bonus worth 50 points. And that is if you completed all the prompts and the Christmas Star, the Christmas Light, and the Christmas Carols bonus prompts, you can redo one prompt of your choice for extra points, which is fun. And then the Santa Clauses are, you can only use one book per prompt, so there's no doubling up here. And that goes towards the bonuses as well. And then the bonuses must be used in conjunction with an existing prompt. So one of the reindeer prompts, you have to join it up with the bonus points there. And then each prompt can be done once unless you go, can only be done once unless you're going for the slaying it bonus. And then all bonuses can only be redeemed once. And then of course, most important of all is to have fun. So I've gone through the prizes. There are merch. There's merch here. Eric's created adorable graphics and so if you want these on a bookmark those are available I know I'm gonna grab one there are pins mugs magnets so that's all available for you linked all down below on the website and I think that's it I think that's all the information that you need to know I just hope that you're as excited about this as I am and if I missed anything I'll have the links all down below it's a lot of information to take in I know but of course, feel free to message me, message Eric. We'll answer all your questions. Get over on the Discord. I hope to see you on Team Stalking, but we can't control that. We will see. I'll be reading for you either way. And thanks again for your support. Can't wait to celebrate the Christmas season with you. I'll talk to you again soon. Bye for now.